Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tutorials 2K21 and today we are going to learn function overloading concept in C++ programming. So I'll start with the definition of function overloading and what are the rules we can follow to overload the function in C++ and then we'll see the implementation of function overloading in C++ in two ways with two different examples. So I'll start with the definition. Function overloading is a feature of an object oriented programming where two or more functions can have the same name but different parameters. So this is a definition of function overloading and in function overloading so function name it should be same. And the parameters, it should be different. Means the difference in two ways. Like you can defer the number of parameters. And the second way, type of parameter. And in C++ programming, polymorphism concept is implemented using this function overloading concept. So polymorphism is nothing but an object can behave in many forms. And that is going to be implemented uh, using this function overloading concept. So this is an example for function overloading. So we know like C++ is a both procedural and object oriented programming so we can implement the programs without using and with using the classes concept so because of that here i'm going to give you a two different ways how to uh, overload our functions so this is a procedural environment that is a procedural approach because here I'm not using any class and object concept. So in this program, I'm going to calculate the area of four different shapes that is circle, rectangle, triangle, and square. So now I'm trying to find these four different shapes uh, areas by using this program. So we know that function overloading is nothing but we have the same function name and we can use more than one time and it can differ with the parameters. See now you can observe here I'm declaring uh, area four times in my program. So this area function will take one argument of type integer and this area function will take two arguments of type integers and here uh, it states one argument of type floating point and this area function will take two floating point arguments and in my main function I'm going to declare a variables which I'm going to use in my program for finding the area of different shapes. So now here I am declaring three integers. So the first one is side, length and breadth. So now I am going to pass these three different values for finding the area of a square and area of the rectangle. And here I am declaring three variables that is radius base and height and now I'm going to pass these three different values for calculating the area of a circle and triangle. So here it is a COD statement. I prompt the user enter the side of a square. So I'm using my variable S. I'm retrieving that value from the keyboard 
and later I'm asking the user enter the length and breadth of a rectangle and I'm going to take those values in a variable L and B. And after that enter radio of a circle. So I'll take that radius value into my variable R. And then enter base and height of a triangle. So I'm going to take those values with my variables B, S and H, T. So now I have all the values with me. So now I'm going to find the area of different shapes. So here you can see area of a square and here I'm calling the area of S. So now this area of a square will call the area function which will take one argument that is side. And the area of a rectangle, now I'm going to pass two different values for length and breadth for, very, uh, for my function area. And here it is area of a circle. So here I'm passing radius to my area function. And here I'm finding area of a triangle. Here I'm going to pass two different values that is base and height. So this is my main function and here I am defining all my functions outside of this main function. Now you can see this is my first function int area of int. So now this is a definition part. Here I am going to calculate the area of a square. Simply I am using a formula side into side. And my function is expecting an integer value and here I'm going to return that integer value. In the same way, I'm implemented another three area functions for calculating the area of a rectangle and the area of a circle and the area of a triangle. So how this program is going to be executed? When my compiler executes this program, it starts from main function. And this main function, it is going to take all different variable values. And at this time, when I'm calling this function, so area of something, now it is going to match with these different area functions. So how it is going to match? So whenever I'm calling this function area of a side, so now it is expecting one integer value. So it is going to match with these functions with a area function which is having one integer argument. So now the first function is going to be matched and it is going to calculate the area of a side by using S into S formula. So we'll see the second way how we are going to uh, implement a function overloading concept in object oriented environment. So this is an object oriented approach. So here I need to use class and object concept. So here you can see this is my class and my class name is addition and here these are my functions which I'm going to overload in my program and here my function name is sum and this sum is I'm going to return two times like here see it is a sum function and again it is a sum function and this sum function will take two arguments of type integers and this sum function will take three arguments of type integers. So by this sum function, I'm going to add two integer values and by this sum function, I'm going to add three integers values. So in my main function, I'm creating an object for my class addition and here my object name is obj. And simply I'm calling this obj.sum and here I'm passing two values 20 and 15. Now it is going to call this function because this function will expecting two arguments of type integer and then it will add a and b and it will return the output and here i'm calling another function obj dot sum of here i'm passing 
three values. So two integers, one floating point. So now eighty one hundred comma ten point five six. So now it is going to call this particular function and it will be added three different uh, values and it will return a floating point value to my function sum. So in this way we are going to implement the function overloading concept in C++. I hope you all can understand. Thank you.